company in China called Shengshu Technology have just unveiled their new text-to-video model, which has been made in collaboration with a university in Beijing. They demonstrate different prompts and the results they can get from their model, resulting in high-quality videos that rival that of OpenAI's Sora. And after Sora was shown and shocked the world, no one thought that this type of model would be coming out from any other company, and it seemed certain that OpenAI was far ahead in every aspect of artificial intelligence, especially with text-to-video models as we've seen nothing from any other company that comes even close. So how good really is this new Chinese model? Let's take a look at this. So this company is called Shengshu and they've created a new text-to-video model in collaboration with Tsinghua University. And they introduced this model by posting a video on their channel called Meet Vidu, a new Chinese text-to-video AI model. So Vidu is the name of this new model. Well, what is it capable of? They have a number of example prompts which have been chosen specifically to compare to Sora. So they've used very similar prompts to what Sora has used on their examples. And they've done this to show the level of competition that they're bringing to the table. But before we look at some of these examples, who are Shengshu and where did they come from? Because if you're like me, it's probably your first time hearing of this company. Well, Shengshu Technology seems to be a fairly new company being founded in 2023. The amount of information online is lackluster, which is to be expected as they are a Chinese company and I only speak English. But I did manage to find their website, shengshuai.com, and as you'd expect, it is all in Chinese. But after doing some translation and clicking around the page, this is what I managed to find. So the company was based in Beijing and was established in March of 2023. And they say that the core team members come from the Artificial Intelligence Research Institute of Tsinghua University. And this lines up with what we saw earlier saying that they were collaborating with this university in Beijing. They say that their purpose is that they're committed to building the world's leading multimodal large-scale model, which integrates text, images, videos, and 3D information. And that is for the purpose of advancing human creativity and productivity. As well as that, I did find a page announcing their new tech text to video model VDU, so let's take a look at what this model is actually capable of. So with all of these examples, the prompt isn't actually explicitly stated, but as I said earlier, a lot of them do align with the examples that Sora showed, so we can assume for those videos specifically that the prompt was the same as what OpenAI used. This example here of the prompt of a woman walking through Tokyo was one of the first examples that we saw of Sora, and so now we can see how Vidu does it compared to Sora. And we also do have a man and for some reason a bear. I think just from this footage alone, it's evident to me that although this model seems to be fairly capable, it is definitely not as refined as Sora. It just seems like OpenAI Sora seems to handle everything better from the physics to the visuals. Here again, another example that we can directly compare with Sora, this little bow and seeing how it interacts with the waves to test the model's understanding of physics. Same deal as before, it's evident to me that Sora is ahead and their results just seem to be far more refined. One more for you here, there's a panda bear playing a guitar. Personally, I think this one is absolutely terrifying. However, although this this model is lacking behind Sora, I still think this is a massive step forward for China in AI. And it was just yesterday we were talking about a new language model that came from China. So it seems like it's a big week for China. Because if you remember that video of Will Smith eating the spaghetti, and it was absolutely horrifying, it looked nothing close to real, didn't resemble a real human at all. And that was just one year ago. And that was the comparison that people were using with Sora when the examples for that came out. And I think it's good to use it here as well. Because although this model can be rough around the edges, this is the worst that it will ever look because they can only improve from here. And even if we didn't have Sora and we just had Vidu, it would still be a massive step forward compared to the Will Smith eating the spaghetti video, which is only a year old anyway. It would still be an example of exponential AI progress. So what are the capabilities of this model? Well, on their website, they say the model supports the generation of high definition video up to 16 seconds long, and that resolution is 1080p. They say that it's able to simulate the physical world and also has a rich imagination. And they do mention Sora saying that they are the first ones to achieve this since the release of Sora. And then they go on to talk about the technical side of this and how they plan to improve it in the future. 
So pretty crazy stuff here. Like I said, I definitely think this is a big win for China, despite the fact it is lacking behind Sora. But I'm interested to know what you guys think about this, so let me know down below. And if you're still listening, I really appreciate you. Drop a like and subscribe if you can, it really helps me out. And thanks for watching.